the, the game's kind of coming thick and fast. What's the thought ahead of this trip to Aberdeen? Uh, it's another, you know, it's another tough one. Um, none of the games are easy, um, and this is just as hard as any other. So, like you say, they're coming thick and fast. But I think, you know, personally for me, that I like that. Um, you know, keep keep going, and you know, there's not much training. You just get straight into another game. So, you know, looking forward to it. On paper, you might think that you know the chance to beat Kilmarnock at home was was a better chance to get three points, and that was passed up. But is it important that the players just sort of? Treat all the games the same. I suppose if you got there and win tomorrow night, then you know it's all it's all equal, really. That's it. Yeah. Um, you know, every game's different. Every team's different that you play against. So, you know, every game we go into is we want the same result. We want to win, and you know, we'll we'll be trying to go up there and, and do that tomorrow night. From this, after the Celtic game, the manager said you'd be working specifically on you know the defence. He wanted it to become a bit tighter. You then obviously get a clean sheet at the weekend. How important, particularly in these next two games, going to places like Pataudry and St Johnston, that, that you guys, the back four, are, are really at it? Massively, yeah. Um, you know, we did that on Saturday. We got a clean sheet, and you know we need to try and build on that. Um, and tomorrow night we'll be looking for the same you know outcome as a, as a back four. And you know, I'm sure Sammy definitely wants more clean sheets than, than he's had this year so uh, if we can help him do that then you know that's what we'll be trying to do tomorrow. How much are you benefiting from that sort of consistency? I think you've played every single game since you came up here, has that like, exceeded your expectations? Um, not really, no. I, I kind of I expect myself to try and be available for every game and try and play in every game so um, you know personally for myself it's going to plan, you know, I enjoy playing and enjoying being in the team and you know, I'm just going to try and stay there. You mentioned about the importance of the defence putting on a sort of form screen. A game like Saturday's where perhaps the cycles are partly in the top form. How important is that that you guys are solid? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, I think you know in any game, you know, it's important that we, you know, try and keep a clean sheet. If you keep a clean sheet, the worst you're going to do is draw, isn't it? So, um, you know, unfortunately, Saturday we had a few chances, and you know, normally the boys, you know, who put it in the back of the net would would put it in the back of the net, and they didn't on Saturday, but. Um, you know, over the season they've they've scored a tremendous amount of goals and we've kind of you know let them down defensively. So um, you know we'll be, we'll be trying to build on our clean sheet and I'm, I'm sure they'll be trying to get back in, in amongst the goals. How are you enjoying your, your spell up here? I remember reading a piece when you came up this morning. You said that when you came up here, you weren't uh, thinking about actually making move up here, but it was after the manager so Do you want to, uh, how do you reflect on that? Um, you know, like you said there, I wasn't. You know, overly didn't really want to come, um, but you know, can't express how happy I am that I did come, and you know, um, I'm really enjoying my time here, and I'm, I love playing for the football club, and I love the boys. That you know, the lads are great, and I couldn't expect anything better than you know what's happening at the minute. What, what so far has been the thing that's sold you in the club the most in your time? Just, just mainly the boys and, and the people in and around the club. You know, I think you know everybody, everybody speaks to everybody. Um, no matter if you're, you know, a player or a cleaner or whatever. So, um, you know, I think the club's great. It's well run, and you know, I'm just really enjoying playing for the football club. In terms of, you was know, asking there about consistency of selection, things like that. I mean, I look at the stats for the last few years, and you have played that you know, consistently over the last five years. Is, is that something that you pride yourself on? The, the fact that you've, you know, you've managed to stay injury free and, and play most weeks for the teams you've been, been with. Yeah, I think you know, I think that's a big part. Um, I think one of my big attributes is that I'm, I'm a pretty fit person, so um, you know I try to stay in the team and try and stay as, as healthy as possible. And you know, touch wood, with a bit of luck, um, you know, I've managed to not be injured that many times. So um, for me to stay in the team is very important, and you know, I want, just want to play as many minutes as I can. You feel like you've got that pressure coming from the guys on the field that pushes you on. Definitely, yeah. Um, you know, I said it before that the young boys who who are coming through are. Been fantastic, and you know they're chipping in with their performances, and and they're and they're pushing you because you know in a couple of years these boys will be ready to play first team football consistently. So um, I'm just hoping that I can, you know, fight off the the boys who are, who are coming up behind me, and, and and try and be as consistent as I possibly can to stay in the team. How difficult is this sort of period of the league where you get something like a quarter of the, the league program so in one month? I mean, just how testing is that? For you guys? It's important, you know. It's, it, like you say, it's very testing to play consistently on Saturday, Tuesday, and, and you know, especially with the squad. It's not a massive squad, so it's um, it's a difficult period. But 
game after game, you know, you can kind of just get to the next one, get past that one, get to the next one. And if we pick up, pick up positive points, then, you know, that accumulates to quite a lot of points by the end of this month. So that's, that's our aim is to pick up as many points as we can and, and see where we are at the end of the month.